All right, guys, today we are on a 207 yard par three from the Black Tees. Got 204 to the pin. We're going to test out the Top Flight Gamer. I thought it was a natural, pro natural progression since I already did the Top Flight Bomb. The Top Flight Gamer is a ball that I might even consider putting in my bag. I used to mess around with the Top Flight D2 once in a while. Thought that was a fair decent golf ball for the price so we're going to try the gamer out today see how that works out start out with the seven wood 204 yard par three five holes to go just play 13 need to palm away again with. gotta hit mo greens my that sun just peeked out from behind the clouds and it's a blinding sun so i'm not even sure how much of that you saw however it looks like it went towards the pin maybe a little left of the pin we're going to get up there. Not sure if there was enough club or not. But uh, as usual, top flight's not going to feel super soft. Funny, my last review was on a super soft. But in any event, let's get up there and see what we got left. A little short of the green here. So we probably hit that, I don't know, 185, 190. Top flight claims this ball has a soft ionomer cover. There's kind of no such thing as a soft ionomer cover. The ball can have low compression, but that cover's not really going to be soft. It's like a urethane cover. Let's see if we can get it close. All right, guys, I will say so far for a top flight ball, feels soft. Uh, the last top flight, I, well, really the only top flight ball I tested was a top flight bomb. So it feels significantly softer than that. And it definitely doesn't feel like a nitro. Guys, one thing that's kind of unique about this ball is it has a dimple in dimple design. Dimple on dimple. So it's a dimple within a dimple. Mr. Short Hitter does pull a ball every now and then. We hit a tree on the left side. Sure has nothing to do with this D2 or Gamer. I'm thinking of the D2. Has nothing to do with this Gamer, but let's get up there and see if we have a shot at this green. 377 and it's uphill. All right, guys, we hit this tree pretty solid here and it must have knocked the ball straight down. We've got 183 to the pin. It's uphill considerably and it's into the wind. So I'm gonna say this shot is playing close to 200 yards. Seven wood probably won't get there, but a five wood would be long. I will hit a seven wood because you'd rather be short of this hole than long for sure. So see what we can do with the gamer. Okay guys, I hit that ball really good. I can't really tell if it's if it's to the crest, there's a crest in the middle, or maybe it's just short, I'm not really sure. But I hit it really good, can't hit it any better, so if it's short, probably should've hit a five wood. All right guys, we actually got here. It's like we're about 25 feet short. The ball actually landed another three feet a little left. You see me, I'll fix the ball mark here in a second. Three feet a little left and, and actually rolled down a little bit. There was so much wind and that seven was flying so high. So let's see if we can let's try to make one or at least get it close. We got about 25 feet up the hill. It is a left to right breaker, probably at least a foot break left to right. So greens are still healing. So we're gonna have to hit it pretty firm to get it up this hill. Hit a couple long shots into the green. So far the gamer feels pretty good. I just want to test it out. I haven't hit any wet shots yet. So I want to test it out. I hit a few wet shots, 48 from 105 yards and uh, just see how this gamer feels off the wedge.
this last couple felt pretty good the third one i hit a little thin there even the last two that i hit good looks like they didn't quite fly to the hole which 105 yards a little wind this should have been the right club but again they felt decent the cover's not soft the compression is probably probably around 80 or so so it doesn't feel it's not going to feel like a super firm golf ball but because the cover that ion number cover it's not going to make that ball uh it's not gonna feel soft either. Let's get up there and see where the balls are. The ball that I hit a little thin is the best shot. I'll show you where that is. Maybe about three feet from the hole. Looks like one's about 15 feet short. The other two are about 25 feet short. They flew in the neighborhood of 98 to 100 yards. Ball seems like it's performing okay. From these wet shots, they feel a little shorter, but that could have just been me today. We'll go inside, we'll look at the numbers, and we'll see how the Top Flight Gamer really stacks up. From 50 yards, the Top Flight Gamer launched about 4 degrees higher than the Pro-V, and the spin was about 1,400 RPMs less, which is pretty much what we'd expect. Uh, the descent a couple degrees sharper, and then the peak height 2 yards higher. So, although it had a sharper descent, this ball is still going to roll out with the shorter shots. I'd imagine a noticeable difference around the greens with the gamer versus a ball like a Pro V1 or a premium ball. With the 7 iron, the ball speed was about 3 miles per hour slower. The launch, almost a degree and a half higher. And again, about 300 RPMs less spin. The descent was a degree sharper. And the peak height was 1 yard higher. We've had about 4 yards less carry. And five yards less total distance due to the uh, extra yard rollout there. With the driver, the gamer was about two miles per hour slower. The launch was almost a degree and a half higher and the spin 1800 RPMs less spin. So pretty good from the gamer with that. Uh, the descent was about the same, peak height the same. At my swing speed, this is generally where the balls are the closest with the driver. So the gamer performed well here hope you enjoyed my video on the top flight gamer if you're interested in the other top flight ball that i tested the top flight bomb click the video above if you like the video like comment subscribe until next time mr short hitter out hooks and big fade just not my day now why did i play now just clear my head Get back in this, an outside shot, you still can win this, you run off birdies before, 